My name is Sylvia Acevedo and welcome back to another episode of The Curious Corner. In our previous episode, we talked about the Queen Anne Cottage, but in this episode, we're not going to be going too far away and we'll be talking about Baldwin Lake. The earliest settlers of the land surrounding Baldwin Lake were the Tongva Native Americans. They referred to the area as Eliu Kigna, or the place of many waters. After the construction of the Mission San Gabriel, the Tongva became known as the Gamaliel. And the land once known as Elio Kigna was converted to the land of Rancho Santa Nina. Upon the secularization of the mission system, the Mission San Gabriel sold off its land holdings, and in the late 1830s, Don Perfecto Hugo Reed, a Scotsman and Mexican citizen, purchased Rancho San Anita along with the lake. It was along the banks of the lake that he built a small adobe house. In 1875, the title to the rancho was acquired by Lucky Baldwin, along with the rights to the canyons in the north. The canyon spread water to Baldwin's ranch, and in the 1880s, Lucky had the lake on his property dredged, then deepened to almost 15 feet deep. He also had a retaining wall around the perimeter of the lake. During this time, Lucky Baldwin also built the Queen Anne's Cottage, known as Baldwin's Belvedere. In 1947, the state of California and the Los Angeles County acquired the land to create an arboretum, using the lake and historic Baldwin structures as anchors for the land development. However, the lake was less than half the size it was during Lucky Baldwin's day, and today is typically only about two feet deep. Of course, Baldwin Lake completes the picturesque landscape that includes the Queen Anne's Cottage and Coach Barn, and has been the location of filming projects such as the Attack of the Giant Leeches, as well as the Road to Singapore. Thanks once again for joining us for this episode of The Curator's Corner. We hope to see you next time. Bye!